swift as my feet can carry me. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. I don't think I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? No, but it is yours. And if I were you, I would be very concerned. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettel is here for you. A long way to go still. Well, hello.
pick to fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. How revolting! Another thin-blooded mongrel! Nothing important is ever easy. 